Ever heard of inserting a progesterone oral capsule vaginally? Yeah, it kind of sounds strange. Maybe it's even a little weird. But for some women, this off-label method makes all the difference between unbearable side effects and finally feeling normal again. In this video, I'm going to walk you through five compelling reasons why using oral progesterone vaginally might be a smart option, especially if you're struggling with what's called progesterone intolerance. I'm also going to give you five important warnings, things to keep in mind if you're thinking about trying this method for yourself. Reason number one for using progesterone capsules vaginally is that vaginal progesterone protects the endometrium. If you're taking estradiol and you still have a uterus, you need progesterone to protect the uterine lining. It's also known as the endometrium. Estradiol on its own can cause that lining to thicken over time. It's a natural process that estradiol facilitates. Vaginal progesterone can provide the protection that your uterus needs. Reason number two for vaginal capsules is that some women can't tolerate oral progesterone capsules. Maybe progesterone's made you feel panicked or hopeless or even so wired at night that you can barely function the next day. For some women, taking it orally ends up being just too much. Vaginal use of oral capsules bypasses some of those brain effects, and that can make a big difference. Reason number three, there's scientific evidence behind the idea of oral progesterone capsules used vaginally. Clinical research shows that a progesterone capsule absorbed vaginally delivers high concentrations directly to the uterine lining, even more than injections or oral capsules do. The 2022 British Menopause Society um, guidelines acknowledge this approach as a viable option for women who can't tolerate oral progesterone and multiple clinical trials back up the idea. Reason number four, I've talked with real women and hormone optimization providers who have all told me that switching to vaginal use of capsules can eliminate the symptoms of progesterone intolerance almost overnight. Reason number five, progesterone oral capsules are the least expensive form of progesterone, and they're usually covered by insurance. Now, if you're thinking about trying this approach, there are five things to keep in mind. First, you should only use oil-filled soft gel capsules like Prometrium in the U.S. or in the U.K. it's called Ultragestin. You want to avoid tablets or compounded powder-filled capsules. They're not really designed for vaginal use. Second, this method is not FDA approved. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but you'll definitely want to discuss it with your hormone provider. Make sure they're on board with the idea. Third, absorption isn't really guaranteed. Some women see the capsule come out the next morning mostly intact, if you kind of get my drift. That usually means poor absorption. That might be due to vaginal pH issues or vaginal dryness issues, both of which are extremely common in menopause. If that does happen, this method might not work for you. But a bonus tip that might help is to prick the capsule with a pin before you insert it, kind of make it leaky and see if that helps. Fourth, progesterone capsules inserted vaginally can be a little messy, or more specifically, oily. They're not as messy as vaginal gel. There's not as much material, but it's something to prepare for. Inserting a capsule is best done at bedtime while lying down for obvious reasons. And fifth, vaginal use may not relieve all your symptoms. It can protect your uterus, but it might not be all that helpful for sleep or anxiety or depression the same way oral progesterone usually is. Oral progesterone is by far the most effective and safest solution for those menopause symptoms when you can tolerate it. Many women have told me oral progesterone has made a world of difference, especially with sleep and anxiety. For women who are progesterone intolerant, though, oral progesterone doesn't help, but inserting the capsules vaginally can make a difference. It's the same hormone, the same dose, it's just absorbed differently, and for a lot of women, that changes everything. Well, if you're dealing with progesterone side effects, especially severe ones, I would really recommend that you not give up on progesterone just yet. A hormone specialist who understands progesterone intolerance can help you find the dose and the delivery method that actually works for you. Hormone therapy isn't one size fits all. If you might be asking yourself, is progesterone even right for me? Am I on the right dose, the wrong dose? What else can I try that won't make me feel worse? Well, I've got a couple of ways that I might be able to help. 
First, if you're already taking HRT, but you feel overwhelmed or confused or a little nervous, schedule a hormone coaching call with me, the hormone pharmacist. We can take 30 minutes over Zoom, get to know each other, go deep on your symptoms, your labs, and your menopause goals so that you can move forward with clarity. Or if you're still deciding, should I take hormones for my menopause symptoms or not? Take a look at my video course. The Menopause Solution walks you step-by-step -step through that decision, the risks and the benefits, how you can start and be a confident uh, advocate for your own health. Both of those are available at simplehormones.com slash decision. I'm here to help however I can. If you're wondering about the idea of progesterone intolerance, I've got another video about that, and it's linked somewhere on this page.